Today I'm going to show you how to make these hamburger patties with creamy tomato sauce. This is a low carb, high fat recipe that I found on dietdoctor.com and it's really good. Okay, so this recipe calls for a pound and a half of ground beef, which is about 700 grams. Uh, they only sell them in 500 grams or a kilo packages here. I managed to get one that was a bit over, so I've actually got a little over 600 grams here. I probably won't get the eight patties that the recipe calls for. Doesn't matter. So um, you use whatever you've got. Uh, so I've got that, I've got one egg, you're going to need about three ounces or 75 grams of feta cheese. Uh, we're going to need a teaspoon of salt and a pinch of black pepper. Now for the burgers themselves we're going to need about 50 grams of finely chopped parsley and we're also going to need that much for the sauce that's going over the top, so 100 grams altogether. One tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter. Then you're going to need two-thirds cup or 150 mils of heavy whipping cream or pure cream and a tablespoon of tomato paste and a little extra salt and pepper for the sauce. So to start with I'm going to put the egg in my mixing bowl. I like to start with the egg just so I can pick out any shell that might get in there. Add the ground beef, add the feta cheese which has been crumbled, the salt, a pinch of pepper, and then lastly the parsley. Now that 50 grams of parsley that I mentioned in the beginning was assuming you're using fresh parsley. I'm actually using this uh, lightly dried stuff so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to use about half the package here and half in the sauce. If you're using fresh you certainly can use more. Now you just need to get your hands in there and mix and then you're going to form your patties. Now if you were using the full amount of beef uh, as it said you're aiming for about eight oblong shaped patties. I may not get that many. I'll probably get about five. I've got a large frying pan that's been heating on medium-high heat and to that I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil and about a tablespoon of butter. Now I ended up getting six out of mine depending on how big you make them. You may get more or less than the eight called for in the original recipe. They're good size and I don't want to flatten them too much. I'm going to try to fit them all in here. And we're going to fry them, it says for about 10 minutes, so I'm guessing about 4 to 5 minutes per side. But we want to make sure they're done through the middle. There we go, got them all sticks in there. So I'm going to come back in about 4 or 5 minutes. So that's been 5 minutes. And I'm just going to come in there and try to flip these carefully. Look at that, nicely done. Give those another five minutes on the other side. All right, for the sauce or gravy, whatever you want to call it, we've got our 150 mils of the heavy whipping cream or pure cream, and to that I'm just going to add about a tablespoon or half of this tomato paste packet. The remaining parsley. And salt and pepper to taste. whisk or you can just get a fork in there and mix those together well. See once your tomato paste mixes in it starts to turn a bit red in color. So you want to make sure you don't leave that as a clump on the bottom there. So that's got just about a minute left. So now I'm going to go ahead and pour the gravy in, in and around the burgers. You're just going to want to cook it and stir it a bit. You want that to come to a boil uh, for just a minute or so. It doesn't need very long at all. It's just going to thicken into a sauce. As you can see, it's only been about 30 or 40 seconds. It's already rapidly coming to a boil. I'm going to flip the burgers over inside the sauce. And then I think we're just about done and ready to plate it up. So there you have it, hamburger patties with creamy tomato sauce. It's a low-carb, high-fat meal. As I said, from dietdoctor.com, they've got some great recipes out there. Uh, give it a try. This is really tasty. And today, I happen to be serving it with some southern boiled cabbage, um, the recipe from my previous video. They go so great together. You could also serve it with, like, fried cabbage, just fried in butter.